Welcome to the Summer Vibe series. These beginner videos are designed to help new users learn the basics of Marvelous Designer. We will import a custom avatar for this, which will be a slat chair. Go to File, Open, Import, Add, and select the slatted chair. When importing, make sure that the settings are Add and that Auto Create Fitting Suit is turned off since this is not a humanoid avatar. Select the Polygon tools and use the Rectangle Pattern tool. Click and drag to create the shape. Select the pattern in the 3D window and adjust the angle with the gizmo tool. Rotate it so it is flat. Adjust the size so it fits on the chair. Using the Edit Pattern tool or the Z hotkey, Select all of the segment lines while holding Shift. Right click and choose Offset Pattern Outline. Set the corners to Unified Corner so that the corners are cut out. Adjust the distance to 40. This will be doubled at the end of the creation to 80. Make sure Create Internal Line is checked. Use Control C, then Control V to copy and paste for the other half of the pattern. Move the pattern in the 3D window so it is above the first one. Right-click the pattern and select Flip Normal so the patterns are oriented correctly. Once they are facing away from each other, they can be sewn together. Sewing can be done in the 3D window or 2D window. Undock the sewing tools in both 3D window and 2D window. Use segment sewing to sew edges together. As you sew in 3D, you can see the sewing also appear in the 2D window. Sew all four large sides. In the 2D window, sew the smaller corners, sewing them to themselves to create corners. Select all the patterns with Control A and in the Property Editor window under Simulation Properties, change the pressure to 5. Simulate. A positive pressure will cause the pillow to inflate. Right click and select Lock All Pattern Outlines. This makes selecting the internal lines easier. To make the sides more square, use the internal lines fold angles and set them to 90. Unlock the pattern outlines. Use the rectangle tool and make a small rectangle as shown. Then sew it to the edge using the segment sewing tool again. Do the same on the other side using copy and paste. Move it in the 3D window so that when it simulates, it doesn't cause collision issues. Simulate. Adjust the sewing angles. Use the B hotkey to select the sewing relationship. 
set it between set it between 220 to 260 with the main pillow design done start making the rest by using instance pattern select all the patterns right click and choose instance pattern and right click to bring a pop up make 6 instances Move the patterns in the 3D window so that when simulated, they can drop onto the chair easily. Use pins to hold in place. The hot key to place a single pin is W left click. Arrange the pillows in 3D window making sure to move each pillow or pillows by selecting all patterns that make up a pillow. Sew them together using the segment sewing tool. Sew all the pillows to each other in one long line. Once done, simulate so the pillows fall into place. The pillows aren't sitting how they should, so let's tack them into place using the tacking tools. Pull on the pillows with simulate on to move them closer into the right place. Use strengthen to reduce the stretching of the patterns. Select desired patterns and right click and choose strengthen or the hotkey control H. There will need to be one more pillow. Turn off strengthening with control H. Use the tack on avatar tool to hold these in place. Select the corner of the pattern and then select where it should attach to the avatar. Do this to both sides. These tack lines have no length and are sitting too close. Use the Edit Tack tool to extend line lengths to 5. Instance the last pillow patterns to make the additional pillow needed. Sew to attach as before. In the library, under the Fabric menu, choose Cotton Canvas. Tack the bottom pillow edge to the avatar. To make this more realistic, we will make straps. Make the strap pattern with the rectangle tool. Use Ctrl A to select all patterns and Shift Q to hide all selected patterns. Select the top pillow patterns and use Shift Q 
cue to unhide just the top pillow patterns. Next, use Control J to deactivate the patterns. Hide pillow patterns. Place strap as shown and simulate. Use strengthen and a pin to keep it in place. Use Control C and Control V to copy and paste the other strap. Unhide the top pillow. By clicking on the pattern in the 3D window, a blue marker will show up in the 2D window indicating what part of the pattern you picked. Make an internal line on the strap to sew the pillow to. Sew the pillow to the strap using the free sewing tool. Right click and reverse the sewing if necessary so the sewing lines are not crossed. Move the internal line if it is not lined up directly below the pillow. Select trim hardware from the fabrics and apply to the straps. The strap is too long, so shrink it to fit better. Do the same to the other strap. Copy and paste the straps as shown. Fit the new straps as shown. Make the rest of the straps as shown.
From the library, go to the Hardware and Trims menu and select the ribbon. Select Add to Workspace. Click the glue icon and glue the ribbon in place. Do this for the rest of the straps. Freeze all the patterns. Lastly, we will make a towel to drape onto the chair. Choose cotton terry cloth for the fabric. With Simulate on, drape the towel until it looks right. You can now render this garment and avatar in your preferred 3D package. Check out the other Summer Vibes tutorial videos on how to make more of the assets seen in this render.